we had a management team uh, who provided everything to us. So they, they, you know, they even said, here's a song from Bessie Banks in America. We think it'd be a good cover for you to do. And so we did it. It happened to be Go Now. And, uh, and you know, we got number one, a number one hit with that. One day we woke up in the morning and we called the office for, to our management and agency and everything. And the managers had all disappeared with the bank accounts. <laughs> So we were out on our on our asses, um, you know. We had, we had to find something to do. Days of Future Past stands out on its own, of course, because mm -hmm. it really was a, a project that involved a, you know, a forty-piece orchestra, right. uh, which was really the London Symphony Orchestra, who were moonlighting. Um, uh, and so, you know, that, that was something that was completely different. And the fact that uh, Graham had written that great poetry too, and I, I got to read most of it, most of the poetry too, was, a, well, it was something different and something new. Why does the Meltron use straight tapes instead of loops? Well, you always have a loop problem then at the, at the end and the beginning again, because the end, uh, the end is usually a fade off, and the beginning of the note is, you know, bam, you're on, in the note. So to do a loop would have been a, um, a lot of things were made like that, but they never worked properly because there was like a good, good as each time it went past the, uh, the join. So the whole idea was not to have a join, but have something that immediately took your finger off the key. The, it, the string, the, uh, the springs pulled back uh, immediately so that the tape would then be back at the beginning of the note again. Uh, oh, there's always been a message intended, I think, and I, I think that's one of the interesting things about songwriting. It's, it's, uh, or, you know, if you're an author or whatever, um, it's, it's a way of um, scattering your seeds in the fields, you know. And so um, I, I always, you know, look at it from an art point of view. Uh, you know, there has to be a message. Uh, I, the music I enjoy the most and always did was something that had a message or it musically took you to another place. The brain is fascinated by music, music and art. We hang our memories on the shape of sound. 